Do you feel like you don't speak enough English? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. Welcome to the 800 Core English Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in English. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at EnglishClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master English. Okay, let's get started. First is take out. Take out. Take out. So the verb take out means to remove something from a location. We often use take out when we're talking about removing something from our house or removing something from a closet. We can also use it to talk about removing food from a restaurant when we take out our order. Can you take out the trash, please? Can you take out the trash, please? Can you take out the trash, please? Waiter. 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 A waiter is a person at a restaurant or perhaps a cafe that takes your order. We typically use the word waiter to talk about staff who are male. I'll call the waiter. I'll call the waiter. I'll call the waiter. Weather report. Weather report. Weather report. A weather report is the part of the news or maybe the part of the newspaper that gives you information about the weather. It usually tells you about a week in advance about what the weather is going to be like. Check the weather report before going sailing. Check the weather report before going sailing. Check the weather report before going sailing. Celsius. 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 Celsius is the system that is used to measure temperature, typically in countries that use the metric system. You might see it shortened as C when you're seeing measurements in degrees. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. TV show. TV show. TV show. A TV show is some kind of program on your TV. You can see on your TV, or these days we can watch on our computers as well. It's usually a series. There are several episodes in a show. So we don't use TV show to talk about movies. We use TV show to talk about things that have episodes, many different episodes. I always watch this TV show. I always watch this TV show. I always watch this TV show. Jogging. 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 Jogging is the name of a very popular form of exercise. As a verb, it's to jog. But jogging, the noun form, expresses the name of the activity, which is just light running. Jogging is fun. Jogging is fun. Jogging is fun. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food is food that you can receive quickly. Generally, we imagine very, very big companies like McDonald's or Burger King or maybe Taco Bell or whatever your country has, some kind of place where you can go to get food very quickly. 
Generally, fast food is not so healthy, but there may be some healthy options out there. I crave fast food every once in a while. I crave fast food every once in a while. I crave fast food every once in a while. Park. 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 A park is a place in your city or in your community that's usually big and open and green. There might be places to sit or places for kids to play. It's a public space that the community can use to enjoy some fresh air and get some exercise. Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. Traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. A traffic light is the light that you see above a street when you're using a car or when you're walking around your city. In many U.S. cities, in most U.S. cities, the lights are green, yellow, and red. You may also hear these called traffic signals. For your safety, check the traffic lights. For your safety, check the traffic lights. For your safety, check the traffic lights. Sign. 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 A sign is something you see on the side of the road or next to the road that gives you some information about something coming up or it gives you an action to do, a command. For example, stop when you see the stop sign. Stop when you see the stop sign. Stop when you see the stop sign. Subway. 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 A subway is an underground transportation system. So this is different from a train. A train is above the ground. A subway is usually below the ground. Maybe in some cases the subway comes up out of the ground or comes outside for a short period of time. But usually subways are all underground transportation systems. I take the subway to the office. I take the subway to the office. I take the subway to the office. Train station. Train station. Train station. A train station is a transportation hub. It's a place where a train stops. You can get on and get off the train there. I can't find the train station. I can't find the train station. I can't find the train station. 500. 500. 500. When you count by hundreds, use a base number plus the word hundred. This one means five one hundreds of something. My house is 500 meters from here. My house is 500 meters from here. My house is 500 meters from here. 999. 999. 999. So this number is special because it is the last number that we use with the hundred counting pattern. After this number, we typically use the thousand word to count numbers. We bought 999 chairs for the event. We bought 999 chairs for the event. We bought 999 chairs for the event. 101. 101. 101. When you're counting three-digit numbers, typically it will follow a pattern like this. Number, hundred, and another number. It's also extremely common to see one hundred and one, so an and before the final number. My score was one hundred one. My score was one hundred one. My score was one hundred one. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. So again, when you're using the hundred counting pattern, simply use the base number plus the word hundred. There is no change to the base number.